Hi, I'm David. I'm the guy who made uh, Pokemon TCG Decklist Viewer. And in this video, I will explain to you how to set this up as a streamer and how it will look like for your viewers. Yeah, first of all, you navigate to the page, then go on install. And then it asks you if you want to configure it. You don't have to configure it. It will just use the standard layout, but you can configure uh, four things. One is the background color on the overlay. So the window will have some kind of background color. You can match this with your color theme, your uh, stream goes with. You can just set the RGB value and the transparency. You can set transparency to zero, then it doesn't show anything. You can set it to 50% and it's half see-through. Um, this is the uh, button design. You can change, for example, the way the buttons look. This is with hard borders. This is a little bit like PCGO does it. Uh, or you can just have it in a rounded shape. And here it's just a preview. Uh, this is the button that will appear on your stream. So it will look like this. And then the people can click on this and then it opens the menu. You can set the color as well, or if you want to have a, a circle or <laughs> some kind of different shape, uh, there are four to choose from. And then there is the uh, way the card amount looks like. And yeah, you can set the same kind of button styles here as well. And then the color, whatever you want to. Then you go on save configurations. And now you have set up everything to fit your stream layout. Um, the next thing we would have to do is uh, actually activate it. So currently it's installed, but it's not active. If you don't stream PDCGO, you should probably like unactivate it. But if you stream PDCGO and you want to share your decklist with your viewers, you have to set it as an overlay. And now the viewers can see the extension um, yeah. The next thing you want to do is to um, add your deck list. This is not so nice like in Hearthstone, you cannot do this automatically, but uh, there is this window. So you go on, on Stream Manager, and then on the right for quick actions, there should be this panel here, um, the Pokemon TCG deck list viewer. You click on that and then you get this window. You can leave this as a browser window, of course, but you can also, um, if you are streaming with OBS, you can uh, set it as a dock. For this, you go on View, then Docs, and then Custom Browser Docs. And here you just select a name and then paste in the link, the URL from the um, configuration page, the live configuration page, and you go on Apply. It should ask you to log in um, because it's yeah it's a new new browser that wants to access your thing. okay well it did not work <laughs> yeah it should ask you to um, log you in. But because I already did this, it doesn't ask me. And then you can put it, for example, here. And now you have it in your OBS. When you play your game, yeah, so it already has a submitted deck list as well. Uh, when you are in your game, just before you search for an opponent, you just look at your deck list, click export, then it's copied. And then in OBS, you can just paste it in here and then hit submit. And then it should appear here as well. Uh, if you spot a mistake here, then something went wrong. Um, but for most decks, it should work. If you find any mistake, you can message us um, or anyone at Limitless or use a support mail because then we should fix it for everyone. Yeah, and now I will go to the part where it looks like for your uh, viewers. So for this, I will just go online. And this is how it will look like for your viewers. Um, just imagine there is a PCGO visible. And when they uh, go here, 
they can see the extension and then they have to allow it. And then they see this button. And this is basically all there is. Uh, they can move this button to any position they like. So it doesn't cover your face cam or any element on your stream. Whenever they want to check out your deck, they can just click on that. And then they can see your deck list. Um, they can look at the cards in a bigger image. And if they maybe English isn't their first language, uh, they can also read it in um, yeah, any language that has cards in PCGO. And if you want to change your deck, that's uh, very easy. Just select a different, a different deck. Same, export it. And then you can just paste it in here. Go on submit. And once you can see it here, then your viewers um, should be able to just yeah, click on the button. And then when you change your deck list while you were already live, they can check out your new deck and then maybe read cards uh, they don't know from here in any language they want except Japanese or Chinese. Um, yeah, so that's it. I hope um, this video helped you and uh, thank you very much for using this extension. If you have any ideas how to make it better, uh, send us an email on the support email that is uh, on the extension page. Thank you.